In this video, I'm going to show you how to double the reply rate to your prospecting messages using a multi-channel called Outreach. Multi-channel called Outreach consists in using all different channels at your disposal to contact your leads. And most of the time, for B2B prospecting, this includes email, LinkedIn, and Twitter. You have a lot of tools that are doing multi-channel called Outreach right now. You got Expandy, Lemlist, Wallaxy, but in this video, I will focus on the LGM as this is a tool I am personally using. But everything that I will say in this video apply to all the tools. First, let's talk about why multi-channel cold outreach is so efficient. The first reason is that you look way less pushy when you follow up on different channels. Let's take an example. If you send four follow-up emails in a row, your prospect will see that you're kind of pushing the conversation because you know, he can see all the emails that you have sent previously. But if you send the same campaign, the same amount of messages on two channels, let's say two emails and then two messages on LinkedIn, your sequence will look a lot less pushy because you are distributing your efforts on several channels. And when uh, your prospect is seeing a LinkedIn message, it looks like a brand new message to him because he can see the emails you have sent previously. The second thing is that this is making your approach much more human. And here, let me give you a concrete example with messages I personally sent. So here I got two really interesting examples of uh, why multi-channel cold outreach is really efficient. In my sequences, I send two emails first, and then if no reply, I send you a connection request on LinkedIn and I send you a LinkedIn message. And look at the reply here. Hey, I've tried to get your first impression on the Budvia email. Did everything go well with your first extract? AGB hey, apologies. I saw your email, but I thought it was an automated one. So the fact that I switched channels uh, make the prospect think that the approach wasn't automated. But in fact, this message is automated as well. And actually, I've received dozens of messages like this. I can show you another one. Um, this one, for example. Yeah, sorry. I thought it. I thought it was an automated marketing email. You know, I do this stuff. Haha. So here, this guy is expert in the domain and he thought, okay, I know the drill. Uh, this is an automated message. And even him, I thought that it was a manual approach. So you can see that multi-channel is really efficient. And there is another psychological effect playing here. The fact that you switch channel and you make the effort. This effort is perceived by your prospect and your prospect feel a kind of debt to you for making this effort to reach out to him. So the person in front of you feels like at least uh, he should reward your effort by giving a reply, even if it's a no. That was for the theory. Now let's get our hands on the technical stuff. Okay, so I am on LGM right now. As you can see, they offer a lot of different sequence templates you can use for your outreach. My favorite one is uh, this one here, email plus LinkedIn three follow-ups for several reasons. So reason one is that you should always start by sending email first and not LinkedIn messages because you can send a lot more emails that you can send connection requests. You can send approximately between 150 and 200 emails per day and you can only send 100, between 100 and 200 connection requests per week on LinkedIn. So you should save a maximum of connection request credits by sending emails because if you get a reply with email you don't get to send a connection request on linkedin so here you see first i send an email visit the linkedin profile without sending a request sending a second email and if i got no reply after two emails then i can send a connection request if the connection request is not accepted i visit the profile again and i send a third email if the connection request is accepted i send a linkedin message the second reason is that when you use an email finder to find the email of your prospect, you will never get 100% of email. You will get a maximum of 80, 90% of email in the best case scenarios. Most of the time you will get like 60, 70% of email. So you got 30% of leads you can contact through email. So you get to use LinkedIn to contact these leads. And LGM has a really cool feature to handle that use case because here you can add a condition as pro email. If the answer is yes, the lead goes into the email sequence. And if the answer is no, the lead goes into the LinkedIn sequence. The cool thing about that is that you don't get to bother to build two lists 
one list of prospects with emails, one list of prospects without emails, using two different tools, one email outreach tool for the leads with emails, and one LinkedIn prospecting tool for the leads without emails. Here, you just need to upload your lead list and LGM will distribute the leads into the right sequences automatically with these checkpoints. Once you have selected a template, the rest is really simple. You just need to here click on the step, could be a LinkedIn message or an email here, and you can write the subject and the text. And really interesting, you can of course add custom variables like the first name, the last name, uh, the company name, etc. And you can do exactly the same thing uh, for LinkedIn messages. Oh, let me cancel that. Yep. And here you can do the same thing for LinkedIn messages. I won't talk much about how to write your prospecting messages in this video because I've already made another video on this topic and you can check it by clicking on the link just right here. Okay, so now that you have your sequences ready and your messages written, the only thing you need to do is to provide data, build the list and upload them into LGM. And to give LGM the best data input possible for your prospecting campaigns, we are going to use two tools, Sales Navigator and Eveboot. So if you want to take cold outreach seriously, you absolutely need a Sales Navigator account. You won't go far with the LinkedIn basic search. The only annoying thing about LinkedIn Sales Navigator is that they don't allow you to export your leads into a CSV file. For that, you need to use a third party tool like Eveboot. So Eveboot is basically a Chrome extension that will allow you to export your leads from Sales Navigator into a CSV file in just one click. If you want to download it, I've left the link in the description of the video and in the first comment. Once you have downloaded the extension, you will have a new button here, Extract with Eveboot. And if I click on it, it will open a new page where I will be able to uh, name uh, the search. Here, let's say, uh, Head of Sales NYC Test. And then I just need to click on this button and Eveboot will extract and clean the data and put it into a clean CSV file. To save your time, I've already extracted a search and here you can see two columns, cleaned and qualified. So by clean, we mean the number of sales the Everboot algorithm has cleaned because you know, on LinkedIn sometimes the data is a little bit messy. There is like capital letters, emojis, and in the company names, there is like data to clean as well. So basically we are cleaning stuff like that, you know, emojis, signs, capital letters, and the juridical mentions on company names. Because you are going to upload this data into your call outreach tool and use the variable like first name, last name, company name. And if you write something like, hello, Anthony, in capital letters with an emoji, your prospect will directly know that this is an automated message. So you need to have clean data to maximize your reply rate. Uh, the second column is qualified. And the second thing, Everboot will do is to check if the leads in your searches are really matching your sales navigator search results. On average, between 20 and 30% of your leads on sales navigator don't match your search criteria. And if you want to know why, I've made a complete sales navigator tutorial that you can check here and I will explain in detail why there are differences between your search results and your search filters. So I will quickly open a file to show you how it works, guys. I'll take head of sales here. And yeah, so on the column on the left, you will see a column match filters, yes or no, and no match reason if the lead doesn't match your search filters. So here there is no problem. And if I scroll down, so in this search, I was looking for head of sales, right? So here I got no with wrong title here. So Everput has detected that the lead is not matching the search filters, so no. And then I got the reason why the lead has been rejected and this is wrong title. And here I can see that indeed, um, these people are not head of sales, but head of channel, CBO, head of growth and marketing director. And regarding the data, we are extracting first name, last name, clean. Uh, you can also find emails with the tool. We extract first name, last name, we clean them. You can also find emails with the tool, get the position, company name, website, um, the number of employees, the employee range, the number of connection, and basically everything that you can find on Sales Navigator, we extract it. So in one click, you extract the data, clean the data, and filter the unqualified leads out of your search. And you can add the pro emails in your file by clicking here on Find Emails and Unreach Leads, and Evaboot will add the emails of your prospect directly in the file. And once you have done that, well, you just need to click on here, Download, 
download the qualify leads so you don't add people outside of your target in your audience download this file and upload it into lgm so before that you will need to do an extra step so the data transfer is made correctly between eveboot and um, and lgm here go on google sheet click on file import upload here look for your file here head of sales nyc click to happen to current sheet import data and then simply redownload it as a csv so click on download here and then csv comma separated value up we'll put it here and then you can go back uh, on lgm here click on this icon import leads import as csv and drop your csv file here i will look for the file here lgm import and then what you need to do is to uh, match the columns. So here my file has a header. So LGM will automatically match some columns. So here, for example, last name, business email. But for some columns, you need to, you know, add it like this, click on save, and then do the matching for every column like this. Once you have created an audience, you just need to go back on your sequences, browse the templates, Click here on the sequence, create a campaign, and then you will find your audience here. You just need to click here, write your messages, and then click on save and launch, and LGM will start prospecting uh, these leads. Now that you master all the technical stuff, my advice for you is to do two things. First, work on your prospecting messages, on your copywriting, and second, learn how to build super targeted lead list with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And for that, you can watch the two videos that will appear here. I wish you a great day, guys, and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.